Good afternoon. This is Amber here at the B Channel. And I would just like to um, update you guys on what I've been doing with my life lately in terms of this weight loss thing and this weight loss journey. Um, I hope everybody had a great holiday season and is having a great 2019 thus far. Before we get into our today's topic, I would just like to remind you that you can find me over on the Anchor Podcast at B Channel. You can find me on Twitter at B Channel 27. You can find me on Pinterest at B Channel. And you can also find me on Blogger at B Channel 28.blogspot.com. And um, without further ado, just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with me. Um, I gained about 28 pounds over this over the course of the fall of 2018. You know, so I was like, I took notice of it in October and I was like, oh, no, 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 I am not going to leave Wonderland and go out like this after all the hard work that I put in. So I upped my water to four liters again and started exercising at least 30 minutes a day and try to just watch my portions and see if I can get more whole foods into my diet versus processed things and um, just be more cognizant of what goes in my mouth. And, um, then I, um, I started intermittent fasting at the end of November and I noticed that, um, basically since, no, since October, I noticed that I lost 10 pounds. So my goal is to lose 18 more pounds by the spring. So I could be back to a healthy weight. Right now, I'm holding steady at 180. I would like to be 162. Um, but um, just want to share some some tidbits with you guys about this intermittent fasting thing. The whole goal is to that um, basically what I've learned from Facebook groups, various Facebook groups I'm a part of, and YouTubers like myself. I've learned that you're um, you have to keep yourself busy. And that you have to drink lots of water. And I love to make different kinds of sassy waters. I can make a whole video about that topic in and of itself. Like, um, what I do is... I was doing, like, turmeric, cumin, ginger, but I kind of got tired of it. So, pretty much, I just do ginger powder in my water. I do lemon. I do lime. I do grapefruit. And I even tried orange. But I thought that was kind of, like... I feel like orange and grapefruit are like overly sweet and um in terms of the water but it 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 tastes really good and it's like like regular water is just not as great you know so that's what I call sassy water I pick a citrus and I pick um I put ginger in it and it's in a citrus any citrus fruit that you have on hand is great and sometimes I do combos like lemon and grapefruit lemon and lime lemon lime grapefruit or lemon and orange whatever you have on hand is fine so, um, and then I drink that twice a day. I fill it up in the morning and then I drink it again at night and, you know, so waste not, want not use that same citrus again for the whole entire day. So basically by the end of the day, I drink like three liters of citrus flavored water, citrus infused water, I should say. And I just drink one liter of regular water, you know, for balance. So, um, anyway, I feel like it does, it has given me a glow and everything like that. And it does definitely help your digestive system. So that's why I would really recommend drinking citrus water all the time. Um, and, well, infused water, shall we say. But um, I digress. Also, well, I started out doing 12-12 um, intermittent fasting. When I, when I talk about the, when I say two numbers, that first number is the number of hours that you fast. And it's the second number is the number of hours that you are allowed to eat. So, I started with 12-12, which is pretty easy because you just pretty much do it overnight. And so most of the time you're asleep. And you just wake up and you eat in the morning. And then I found that it was easier. Like, I found it was easy. So, except for when I work late. That's the, the only thing about it. If you work late, you got to find a way to adjust the window. And if you work early, like somewhere early in the day, you had to leave the house somewhere early in the day. It's like you have to find a way to adjust that as well so it's a lot of trial and error doing a lot of research figuring things out so i feel like okay 13 after a while it was like 13 and i was doing 13 and a half you know i found myself doing 14 14 and a half i tried 15 yesterday from 9 30 at night to 12 30 in the afternoon the next day and so today i'm trying to 10 to 2 have about an hour and a half left of this um 
16 hour fast so yeah i really my goal would be to work my way up to 18 because they say that it's really ideal to do 16 and above because like if you do less than 16 it's not as like efficient it's not as um like big of a fat burn that's that's what they say but um pretty much the whole the whole deal with this intermittent fasting is that when you you're not eating that your insulin levels aren't getting spiked and it provides a way for you to become insulin resistant so that like when you do eat it's like it's just better because you're like processing everything better and you ha your body has had a chance to break down the trash which is called autophagy when your cells get rid of trash and um it's basically kind of like a a time for your body to like recharge and rejuvenate and um you get a sense of mental clarity as well but um that's what they say but there are a lot of people out there that do actually do i'm gonna tell you about some different kinds of fasts i learned about um they actually do 24 which is 20 hours off of eating 44 hours on some people do 22 2 which is 22 22 hours of fasting and two hours of eating and there's some people that actually do 23 1 which can also be referred to as one meal a day if you think about it because they only eat for one hour a day so there are people out there that just do that like they pick one hour out the day that's when they eat and that's it i don't think i'm at that level nor will nor do i think i ever will be but it, i mean it is feasible like if you have a really busy day or something or you're not feeling well or you just don't have much of an appetite but that's nothing i do feel like fasting does decrease your appetite and gives you more control over what you're eating and you're able to think more clearly about the choice you're making because you're not so everything you're doing is not for naught you know what i mean because you spend all the time fasting like i'm not gonna sit here and eat all crazy and it's that's nothing you can't just um eat whatever you want during that window that's what that's another misconception oh i fasted i could go eat pizza and 12 donuts no you cannot because you won't get the results. The thing is you still have to have a deficit. That's the only logical way to achieve weight loss is to have a calorie deficit. So you have to be eating less. Then you have to be eating less. Like burning more than you're eating. Burning more calories than you're eating. So like. Then there are other people that also do um like the 5-2 fast. Which is when you eat regular for 5 days out of the week. And then 2 days a week you only eat 500 calories. But the men can eat 600 calories. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, and then there's another one where you just, it's called a warrior diet where you just eat like fruits and veggies for the, for the rest, like the beginning of the day. And then at the end of the day, you just have one big meal. Then they have another one where you do alternate day fasting, which is means, which just means that you eat regularly, um, in one day and then the next day you will fast and you just alternate between, between fasting and eating. Then, but it's also, that's also referred to as eat fast, eat. So, um, then there also is, um, there are people that they just do 24 hour fast or they do longer fast than that. And I guess they just eat 